I knew that he had, the, the plane had crashed. Anne Underhill's father's name is carved into a memorial in Oak Bay for local residents who died in the Second World War. She'd heard stories of her father's death, a training mission. The Bristol Blenheim bomber Flight Lieutenant Robert Coventry was piloting, going down in Quedgley, near Gloucester. Locals managing to pull the two other crewmen from the flaming wreckage. Basically, that was a story that I had as a child. You know, I... What she'd never been told, until she was recently contacted by a BBC reporter, is that her father had died after managing to steer the doomed bomber away from a busy schoolhouse. I know absolutely nothing of my father uh, except the way he died, because I was 10 months old when he was killed. A campaign in Quedgley has resulted in plans for a new memorial near the crash site. A plaque will honour Coventry's ultimate sacrifice and the many lives he saved before losing his own. If the plane had actually hit the school on that day, Mum would have died and therefore I would never have been born. Helen Tracy's mother, Margaret Kale, was a six-year-old student at the school when the crash happened in September 1940. She says she owes her life to Robert Coventry. There were flames in the cockpit, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm almost reliving this now telling you, really. Peter Hickman was 10 years old at the time. I can remember running across these fields, and, of course, there was the plane burning, and uh, we stood there absolutely shocked. You know, you were unable to do anything. You couldn't get near it. Quedgley Town Council has commissioned the new memorial. An unveiling ceremony is planned for September. I think it's absolutely extraordinary and wonderful. And my mother must be dancing around up there, <laughs> sort of, you know, just to get the recognition. It means a lot to me, and I would love to be able to be there, but who knows? The pandemic may thwart any overseas travel, but Underhill may soon get the chance to visit another memorial to the father she never knew. Rafferty Baker, CBC News, Vancouver.